welcome back to NetHack from A to Zrudy. It's Wes and Jeremy, and uh, we're restarting the adventures of Azar the Valkyrie. It's been a while. I don't, I don't really remember what you were doing, to be honest. <laughs> so it's only been a week in video time, but it's actually been a few, few weeks for us. Uh, we've both had busy life stuff going on. Uh, but we're back, and you might remember last time we upgraded to this glorious uh, HD version of NetHack that we're playing here, and uh, Jeremy had to actually jump through some weird hoops to uh, to be able to to watch my uh, observe my game on the NetHack server because he's on a Mac, uh, and apparently that there's still like uh, a Mac slash DOS feud when it comes to the way these characters are displayed. Apple clearly did not want me to have DOS-based encoding. I had to jump through lots of hoops to get it on my Mac terminal. But hey, I can see it now, and it looks great. So you you, fa you had to find like some settings buried in submenus or something like that? They were like hidden by default. You have to go into like three levels of advanced menus to, to show them. Oh, that doesn't it seemed, sound at all like, like a UI Apple, Apple would design. <laughs> right. Um, Hiding advanced so functionality. I'm, by, by looking at your screen here, I'm starting to remember where, where you left off. So it looks like you were actually just deep diving. This is definitely the furthest you've been in the dungeon. You're at level 12. It is definitely um, the furthest. It's the furthest been in any dungeon, I think. You've, you've complete, you completed the Gnomish Mines earlier. You completed Sokoban. I mean, yep. basically, there's not really much else left to do except just deep dive in the main dungeon. So, um, And you're pretty well set. I mean, you're... At negative ten armor class, um, you're level eleven. You have a plus something Excalibur. Um, you're kind of rocking Excalibur. it. Plus four. Wow. Yeah, you're kind of rocking it. Uh, that just makes me scared because there's so much to lose now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's like a ton of armor up there and stuff. Was that a shop or? I can't also, remember what. It's also the full moon tonight, by the way. Oh. Nice. As it just told us. Since I'm not a werewolf, I don't know how... What is all that stuff up there? That's a good Why question. don't I remember this? Was this a bones level? I don't remember. Um... Go check that stuff out. Um, I did notice when you looked at your inventory, the one kind of crappy piece of equipment that you still have is your negative one mithril coat. It's still decent because the mithril coat is, you know, it's a very good piece of equipment, even at negative one. Right. Um, but you could probably... You might, I mean, especially if you found another Dwarvish Mithril Coat that was normal, that would be preferable, but... Um, totally. Yeah, maybe it's worth checking that out, because it looks like there's lots of armor up there. This might be a rehash of what you did last time, I can't remember. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's not going to take too long. Yeah. Bug oh, there. I think this was like a treasure, I think this was a treasure zoo or something. That seems that seems about right. Yeah. You know? So that's probably just a bunch of like orcish crap or something. There is a uh, another exit here, or not? It's just kind of a hole in the wall. A cave spider. Yeah, nothing I would like to eat in here. Thanks. There was a donut, right? Oh, there was a donut. Yeah, it was right in the doorway, I th think. It was right above the doorway. Was this was it here? Yeah. Don't leave, no donut left behind. Dude, you can't leave a good donut. It's just like covered in bugbear guts. It was a hobbit. Man, I'm this this is still freaking me out, honestly. Oh shit. Teleport. Whoa. You're on dungeon level two all of a sudden. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, this is a good this is a good uh Wow. This is a good experience for you though. So you've never really had to travel many levels at a time. And uh it's quite quick. Uh I mentioned this on a much, much earlier episode, but when this happens, it's actually not so bad by using your fast travel. Um, right. So I, I recommend doing that for each one of these levels, and you can see kind of how fast it goes. If you just do fast travel with, do you remember the key? It's, it's underscore, right? Underscore, and then you and can then... immediately type down. I don't remember which one of those is which, but 
looks like there's two downstairs but you could try the first one and oh yeah and then uh what do you hit to execute it uh Period? it's the pickup command like everything else the uh comma comma okay you can try so that one yeah, that was it sure. and you could just do that over and over again it's really fast actually <clears throat> assuming i don't run into yeah, even if you run into a guy, you can usually just slaughter him and then do it again. There's Still a pretty unicorn. fast. Still no saddle, man. So have you ever um have you ever had some real misfortune in quickly traveling and ended up you know dying uh as a result of it? No, the quick travel is pretty smart. Um it's not like holding down a key or something like that. It is, it's built, it, I mean, it's programmed to basically stop anytime anything interesting happens. So if any kind of enemy approaches or anything like that happens, you'll, it will stop immediately mid path. So, um, so actually, it's safe. It's actually very safe. Yeah. The, the fast travels are pretty safe. It's a scroll here. Don't leave that scroll. Maybe I, I wonder if I left it there for a reason. Who knows? Who knows what I was thinking? <laughs> and this this level's a mess, huh? It's all right, you're going straight down. You got to get back to your cat. Was that where the oracle was? Yep. That is indeed the oracle. One more level. Well, it looks like you didn't explore much of this level. It's doing... Whoa. Let's do an overview here. So I'm on 10. So I have two more to go down. But yeah, I didn't explore much here. Might be worth doing after you get your uh, pet. Let's see. So there must be a hidden door somewhere. Yeah. I'm not seeing any. Uh... Yeah, there wouldn't. You wouldn't really find something with a complete missing right side like this. A warg. I think you have a, I mean, at this point, you have a pickaxe too, I think, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you can even, at this point of the game, once you have your pickaxe and stuff and you're not too worried about food and things like that, you can just plow through walls because you know there's going to be something to the right over there. So you yeah. could literally just start digging through the wall until you get to it <laughs> instead of searching around. Oh, my fox. So I'm going to, oops. I'm going to head for my pet, and then I'll maybe go back. Mountain Nymph. She could have stolen some of my shit. Glad that didn't happen. All righty. So Rocky should be in here somewhere. Hopefully not feral by now. Hasn't really been that long. Although I guess the uh, the fast travel is a little misleading in that respect. How much time has passed? Yeah. Although I think I mean you've had that pet for so long that its tameness value is probably extremely high. I think it would it'll still be tame. Hope so, because I don't want to have to waste food. I feel like it it will be. There he is. Yeah, it's it's tame. Alrighty. Okay, so should I keep going down? Should I go back up? I think up? so. It's up to you, man. You're the I master like of your own desk. Going going up is just you know, that's like retreating. I'm it's for pansies. The, the new stuff is all down. That's where the cool stuff's at. What is this thing? An angelic being, huh? Peaceful. Probably because you're lawful. I would really like it to get out of my way. Hmm. I wonder if Rocky is like... He didn't seem real interested in following me this last time. Oh, got to go back and get him.
It's also, I think it's... Um, there he is. It's late enough in the game that you can also start considering things like how much is your pet really helping you at this point? He seems pretty uh, pretty valuable to me. I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, it's definitely, uh, you know, definitely a consideration. Like, if you feel like you're wasting too much time and um, nutrition and stuff like that, just waiting on your pet, um, you can always just leave it and come back to it later if you really want or something. I was trying to leash him there, but he ran off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let him chill for a little bit. He'll cool. hang out on the... So this is a this is actually a good... Um, Ooh. This is a good... Oh, nice. This is a good opportunity for uh, using the annotate function. If you do um, pound annotate. Oh, go back to the previous level. Gotcha. I, I thought you could do it alternatively. But it's a good opportunity to use that, and then you can put, um, you know, just like Rocky or something. And then you know uh, this is the level that he's on. So, you know, if you do end up at the point where you want to come back and get him and it's been a really long time and he's going to be feral, then you're prepared for him. Hmm. And you don't so actually now I kind of want him to, uh, I want him to try testing this coat to see if it's any good. Yeah, right. So there's there's that. Dang it. You can always grab it and just take it to him, though. It's heavy, though. I'm going to get encumbered. I don't think so, because you have your bag of holding. Don't forget. That's true. Well, I, I just had to put a bunch of shit in there, yeah. I By the way, did you ever... I don't think you actually named your bag um, after you discovered that it was um, the bag of holding. All right, let me get Rocky. For real this time. There was a B up there. I don't know what what it was. Where the fuck did he go? He wants nothing to do with you, man. He kn he knew the moment you annotated this level Rocky, he knew that you were gonna leave him. Um, I think you have telepathy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You can put on you can put on your towel. Was it put? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, capital P. It's capital P. Oh, I always mix up control P and. I don't see a Rocky. Where the did he die? I see it. So I see a statue F. Yeah. It's, that's, it's it was a statue of a tiger. No, I saw that. That was a statue of a tiger oh, okay. from earlier. I don't see Rocky. Could what might have happened him? is... He, I don't know if he got killed. I somehow doubt that. I think more likely he stepped into a tel level teleport trap or a, or a trap door or something. Oh, is damn. that a level teleport trap over there by the stairs? Um, by the stairs down? Yeah. Oh, it's a magic trap. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see him, though. You would definitely see him with your telepathy if he was here. Well, that's a bummer. I'm going to miss him. He was a good cat. Yeah, so if I were you, I would maybe just throw that um, elven mail in your in your bag. And uh, next time you, you're at a altar or you find... Yeah, put it in your bag. That'll probably fix it. I forget how to do... I forget the command for that. I'm a little... Oh, yeah, you do... I do um, use the tool, which is... What is it? Apply. A, A apply, yeah. and then... Put something in. I'll put a bunch of stuff in there. <clears throat> I am pretty low on food. Oh wait, no, I think my some of my food's in the bag, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So I'm probably doing okay. Probably I don't know if you remember one of the last times uh, you had an instance where 
you had some potions and scrolls like evaporate and explode and burn. Yes. Um, you probably want to put any of those in your bag too. You also still have a towel around your head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a way to live, right? Sure. You ever just go around with a towel on your head? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> the, the one the one problem with that is that you might miss items when you go into rooms and things because you're not going to see sentient things. Is it um? It's capital A to remove it, right? Yeah. There we go. Sweet. That's always useful. Okay. A quarter staff. I'm guessing that would be useful if I was a if I was a mage. Maybe it's not really that useful. He just <laughs> whenever you kill a wood golem, he turns into a bunch of quarter staffs. So since we haven't been able to to get together to play NetHack recently, have you been playing more by yourself? Yeah, I played quite a few games. I'm not doing very good in 3.6. <laughs> oh yeah. As wizard as wizard. Why do you think that is? Uh well, wizard's just kind of tough early on and I'm also rusty. Um but it's mainly because of a lot of the nerfs that they've done to certain powerful strategies in 3.6. Like Elbereth is the main one. You remember that, I'm sure. Yes. Interesting. Uh yeah, that used to be super, super powerful for weaker classes like Wizard that start weak. I forget how you did... That was the extended command write, correct? What? To, to do for writing the, a scroll? Yeah. Nope, you just uh, use the magic marker, just like any other tool. Oh, no, not the scroll, sorry, to write, like, on the ground. Oh, engrave, capital E. Engrave, that's what it was. I'm just trying to throw some more stuff in this bag so that I can uh, get through this gap, potentially. Not sure if that's going to happen, but if I were you, I would just brute force these kind of situations now with your... Uh... The pick? With your, yeah, pick. That makes sense. Honestly, I I would uh I would put the, the pickaxe on your second your alternate weapon so you can just switch to it anytime you need. Uh hmm. Is it wield? Uh it'll either wield or apply. Either one will work. Looks like it might be in your bag. Either it's in my bag or I dropped it at some point and didn't pick it back That's up. That's possible too. You might have a wand of digging though. Let's see. Let's look inside the bag. Tools. There it is. So yeah, if you press X, hold on. First press X. Now, now you have you've you've put it on your offhand. My offhand. So you can. Oh, Oops. I just did. The what did you one. do? I just uh, put the took took off Excalibur accidentally. Yeah, now equip the um, pickaxe. Wait a second. I got this all confused because now Excalibur so, is so by, so by Yeah, by pressing X, you basically swapped it out. So now you're not wielding anything. Okay. So that's what you want to do. You want to do that and then equip the uh, pickaxe. And now you can switch between the two by just pressing X. Fuck, I keep hitting... Um, I just keep hitting regular A instead of capital A. That's what I'm doing. I see. Okay. Now I'm empty handed. And now capital A. Okay. There you go. Now you can dig that. And then you can just swap back with X. It's a miracle that I didn't get myself murdered the couple times that I kept trying to to fight with the pickaxe or nothing in my hand 
instead of mm -hmm. Excalibur. All right, it looks like I need to eat something. That was a yummy donut. Don't forget to swap back to your weapon whenever you're, uh, whenever you finish. It's very easy to forget that you uh, are not wielding your plus four X caliber, and all of a sudden you're like hitting somebody with a stethoscope. Yep. Don't and you're like, why that. is this kobold taking twenty hits to kill? Okay, I have five food rations in the bag, so I'm in pretty good shape for food, really. Yeah. Um, so, hey, really quick, go upstairs. Uh, I want to show you something else. So now that you've kind of cleared this level up and you're ready to go down, um, so there's another... Oh, it looks like you still have some... Yeah, I definitely have here that you explored could the whole time. Um, so go off of the stairs, like some other direction, um, and, and press X to bring up your pickaxe again. Another thing that you can do is you can actually dig not only horizontally, but you can actually dig vertically too. So you could just press, like, try to... Press like you're if you as if you were going downstairs <laughs> on this square that doesn't have a downstairs. So you dug a pit. So now you're in a pit, but if you keep digging. Wow. You can also do that. Wow. I guess I kind of knew you could do that because you talked about it before when you talked about pickaxes. Mm -hmm. But it feels that feels so incredibly freeform for this kind of game it really is <laughs> and it seems it actually like when you when i first found that out i thought like wow that seems really overpowered um but then i you know the archaeologist starts with a pickaxe and so i was like well i'll just pick an archaeologist and dig all the way to the bottom and uh i think you can you can probably imagine how that turned out <laughs> so are you always are you always going to end up in a room uh not necessarily i think it puts you in a random location oh you want to be careful of the rust monster although yes. i think your excalibur is rust proof yeah but my equipment isn't but he's faster than you i wouldn't run away do you have your oh you didn't have it equipped die yeah motherfucker. you do a lot of damage nice probably don't want to eat that Maybe it's totally safe to eat. I don't know. I don't want to eat something potentially made of rust. This seems maybe excessive. <clears throat> <laughs> Good, though. Ooh. It's something that you haven't really done much of yet, so. Mining is a thing. You can find, like, you see a gem there. Yeah. I don't really can, care about uh, gems, though. You can find um, gems so. and potentially gold and things like that in the wall. Oh, what was that creature? It was a T. Ice troll. What? That was a weird thing for him to do. Oh, I, f I have a bunch of these, and I forget. I don't really think he. I don't really think it actually did anything, or not that you noticed. You can just press enter, and it won't do anything. It won't name it anything. There's a raven stacked on top of him. Oh, you damn raven! Okay. Um. So the other thing that you can do is oh. Go ahead. This is good to know. Maybe you already know this. You might have done it in Sokoban. Actually, I think you already did it in Sokoban. I was going to tell you you could break boulders with your pickaxe as well. Yeah. I think you already shot. knew that. Yeah, I needed to break. In, needed to break. in that Quite. case, you actually have to ap apply it, or else it'll just still push it. Ah. Um, okay, apply capital A. Ooh. It turned into 34 rocks.
So you keep you kept saying uh, a bit earlier in this episode, you're you were saying like I'm getting in the late game, that kind of thing. Um, I would say not late game yet. This is this is more you've kind of cleared the early game, so you're like in mid game now. Okay. Definitely not late game. Because I was I was wondering if the way you were saying that, and then I was also grappling with you having said, um, uh, you know the game can take like 20 hours to complete a run or something for a lot of people. I was wondering if you were just messing with me, uh, telling me I was no, but, in I mean, late game we, because we, then there was a big been surprise. Playing this game that, uh, no, I'm definitely not messing with you, but actually we have been, I think you have been playing this game for quite a few hours now. Yeah. It's, it's got a significant bit of time in it. Uh, Are you wearing your towel or did you get Yeah, Well, I got blinded. So I decided to just put it on. Oh, okay. But because remember, you also have your uh, uniform horn. Yeah, I was just going to do that. Like ailment like that, yeah. Since I wasn't uh, becoming unblind, figured I would switch and do the do the unicorn horn. I was there blind, but now I see. Uh, I forget what my lock pick was. Was it? It was. Ah, was it D? No. I had it in a very quick action. Oh, maybe I put it in the bag. Was it double? Oh, yeah, that could be. I think you had it on W? can't remember. I usually keep mine on W. Just kick it open. You're dead, spider. More boulders. Have you uh, ever managed to complete a run as an archaeologist by just digging kind of haphazardly? Consider that a challenge? No. Well, it, it actually is kind of like a meta strategy, um, but it's not really easy. To, it's not actually easy to do. Um, Oh, and you I didn't can't think just so, beat, yeah. You can't just beat the game that way, but you can get uh you can kind of rush to certain things that you normally don't get until much later. Um but I've never really had success with it. Yeah, I mean I didn't think you would actually like finish a whole game just by virtue of uh having having that pickaxe but i yeah. thought so, that could be a, so a way what, to play very dangerously and get down deep and then you know yeah fly so by what, the what happens pants. inevitably is um it actually takes quite a few in-game turns to actually dig through the floor like that mm. and so while you're doing that you have enemies running up to you and beating you up and uh, especially now in 3.6, it seems like it would be even harder because you don't have monsters respecting Albareth, um, which you can otherwise use to kind of get them to go away while you continue to dig. Is it possible for a bag um, like the one I have to only like half to make items weigh less but not nothing yeah it will not it won't make anything weigh nothing it'll just make it weigh a fraction of its weight uh, okay because yeah it seems like even with that bag i'm now kind mm -hmm. of um i'm i'm hitting that burden point oh, a lot a lot more don't leave those rations behind For some reason, the spider web just like distracted me. Uh, this is a this is a fountain here, right? Let's see. Should I do anything with this fountain? I can't remember how many potions and bottles of water and stuff I have. I don't think I think I have... you're I think you're blessed. Your holy water, unfortunately, got destroyed. Yeah. So it looks like I just have I have some potions, but no. 
I have a potion of booze that I could get rid of, but I would need more to make it do anything valuable. Okay. Well, hey, I got some food. Whoa. You receive a faint telepathic message from the Norn. Your help is urgently needed at the Shrine of Destiny. What the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? Look for a uh, Ick Transporter. There you go, man. First telepathic message. Well, I don't know what to make of that. Hey. What the hell? Carefully, you still got your pickaxe, I think. Yeah, you're right. Mmm. Terrible tasting, satiating soldier. Whoa. And pricks through my my boot, huh? What's he doing to my boot? Um, try using your 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 horn there. That made you burdened. The I'm not unicorn. sure if you can if that's something you can fix with your your uh, horn. Try it a couple times, maybe. Maybe it's something you can't fix with that. But your leg is somewhat damaged. I think it'll get better um, over time. What a jerk. So what did that soldier drop? He dropped part of his body that I ate. So the soldiers are pretty well armored. They usually drop a lot of armor and some food and stuff like that. I'm guessing that ring mail is probably not as good as some mithril mail. No, you have pretty good armor still. Yeah, I figured. Uh, I'm going to throw my money in the bag. I think the main thing making you burdened right now is that leg damage. So Yeah. Um, maybe just wait, just kind of wait for that to wear off. I just should go with that. I had that money, so hmm, so there's another downstair here. Um, hang around on this level. Yeah, I figured there's some stuff. You should. I mean, since you got the telepathic message here, you should fully um, explore this level. Is there any reason not to be exploring when I'm burdened? Doesn't seem like it's causing me any issues right now. It, it's okay since you're so strong. Does it you know, affect? Like um, um, what what does that affect being burdened? Uh, it makes everything that you do take more time. I think you're also clumsier. Um, it it it's pretty bad. Uh, but when you're so strong, um, it's not too it's it's not too bad because you can typically still overwhelm enemies. Um, so I noticed you don't have your your lamp on anymore. Um, which yeah. you probably want that vision. Mm -hmm. So if I were you, I would take that out and keep that on just for the vision. For some reason, I didn't think I needed it on every level. Um, yeah, you well, might you, as you well keep it on. You don't need it earlier, right? Like it, um, the levels aren't as dark in the beginning. They, Is that right? Or no? Levels have, uh, yeah, levels have more of a chance as you get deeper to be dark. Um, with the exception of like the gnomish mines are generally darker than... All right, do a little digging here. So there's definitely a shop in this level. And oh, really? I didn't. I didn't see that message. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty. That's pretty lucky. Um, I th I think you, if you remember, I was saying before that shops get less and less, uh, less and less likely to appear as you get deeper in the dungeon. Well, there's 
There's definitely one here because I heard the sound of money and someone cursing shopkeepers. Yeah, but level level 15 is pretty damn deep, so it's really lucky to run into a shop this deep. Cool. Oh man, I am like I think I think it might be time to do some actual some, analysis on what you have in your bag. Culling, yeah. Um for example, that armor that you threw in there, maybe just throw that away cuz even if that honestly even if that's not cursed, it'll still be the same as your Dwarvish, because Dwarvish is one point more defense than Elvish mm -hmm. um, by default. So maybe just ditch that and then anything else that you have in there that you're not really going to use. That's kind of heavy. I also had a, a cloak in here. Yeah. I mean, you can always come back for this stuff if you really want, but maybe for now, just ditch it. And then put up, maybe put all your food in your bag. I don't even know why I kept this oil skin cloak cuz I mean the other the other one is plus 5 like there's no freaking way that was yeah. going to be better. Oops, no. I meant to drop more stuff. Oh, it's cuz I'm not doing like mass drop. That's the problem. So I'll drop the boots. Yeah, for now. That that's probably going to make a big difference. Yeah, I think so. 3 pieces of armor. All right, let's find this shop. Oh, here he is. Oh yeah, pickaxe. Shop. You can also uh, actually this is just a tip. You pick it back up. Pick you can also just put it in, yeah, you can stow it in your bag. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just leave it there for the moment. But you can also do that, and he won't notice. Not so smart, are they? <laughs> this is a food shop. Ooh. Maybe I should buy some food, huh? Yeah, you're pretty have... well off, but you could. I am, um, but... Okay, so I haven't, I haven't um, taught you anything cool this episode. We dug a hole through through the ground. That was kind of cool. Yeah, but I that haven't really taught cool. you any like big big <laughs> thing. Um, right. This is kind of a small one actually, because uh, I feel like you're gonna. Okay, so there's a couple things. First of all, uh, I think you should fully explore this level um, before we end. Sure. Um, sure. Which I think you'll find that on your own. So the other thing is, so you notice this is a food shop and there's a potion. Mm-hmm. So first of all, that could be a mimic, right? Like it could just be a mimic pretending to be an item. Um, right. So maybe check if that's a mimic real quick. I forget how to check. Uh, just, I mean, at this point you're strong enough, you could just go to up just and whack it. it if it is. So it's not, it's booze. Okay, so you already know what it is. But it, So here's, here's my, my whole point is um, this is actually an interesting, one interesting way you can identify a few things uh, in a food shop. Um, you know, shops of a certain type only sell things that are that type. Um, so there are a couple of potions that qualify as food. Booze is, you know, it's technically an edible food. Hey, um, there's sense. also, I believe, uh, like a fruit juice. And you, in the case of your game, I believe it would be called donut juice because <laughs> it's based on what whatever your fruit name is. Right. Um, so it's kind of an early way to identify a couple, like if you happen upon an early food shop and it has a couple of potions in there that you haven't identified yet, um, I like to just name those things. Like if I find like a red potion in there, I would name it like a oh, red and then like in parentheses, like food or something so that I know that it's one of those two potions. Um, it's just one, like one of many different kind of things that you can do with little tricks that you kind of know about shops uh, where you can do kind of process of elimination type of things um, early on in the game. Cool. Uh, eucalyptus leaf, can I use this to cure some kinds of ailments? Yes, it does cure something. I actually can't remember what it cures. It might be uh, lycanthropy, potentially. That's a, that's a serious thing to be able to cure with a eucalyptus leaf. I believe that is what eucalyptus leaf will cure. I can't. Um, it's only eight. Joke. It's only eight Zorkmids, and I think it's also extremely light. I usually carry one around. 
Oh yeah, you know I'm buying some cream pies. Whoa. This giant mimic's got nothing on you, man. He's pretty dead. <laughs> and then he charges for it. All right, I think I'm good with this stuff. So let's see. I got to take my money out of my bag. I'm, I oh, some... okay. I will, uh, I, will, I will expand on the thing that I'm teaching you today. Um, so here's another thing, that cool thing that you can do with shops. Um, so obviously right now you're about to pay for some stuff. Uh -huh. um, let's see how much you owe. So press uh, to get kind of, I don't think I've told you this command before, but you can press the dollar sign as a command and it will tell you how much money you have and it will tell you how I much credit you credit. have in shops. Yeah, you don't have any credit here. Um, and it will also tell you how much you owe. So you owe 161 Zorknids total. To Karan so, in <laughs> so instead of paying this guy, let's drop 161 Zorknids. Oops. Oh. Just pick them up. <laughs> pick, them, pick them up again. Uh, you have to type D and then you have to type 161 and then the dollar sign. Uh, sorry, type hit D, which I just did. And then you type the amount that you want, 161, and then dollar sign. That's a way that you can drop a certain amount of things. Uh, do I have to do... Sorry, it's not... Nothing comes up. You just have to type 161, dollar sign. Huh. There you go. So now, okay, if you press dollar sign again, it will say you have 161 credits, and you owe 161 Zorknids. So go ahead and pay now. With is that, P. It's not control P, is it? It's just regular just P. P. Yeah. And go ahead and pay. Just, yeah, no. You can just pay for everything altogether. Okay, that works too. Yeah, I'll just... Yes, and it'll say, okay, it's saying it's deducted from your credit. So your credit will always be deducted from first since you have credit in here. Um, okay, and pay and pay and pay. And then... If you press dollar sign again, let's see what let's see what you're at now. Zero credit. All right, you have no credit or debt here, so you're good to go. So, why would we do this? It's the same exact position as you were in before, right? Mm -hmm. The difference is, um, you're in a slightly better position because the money you have you have in in addition to doing this, you have put some some of the shopkeeper's money on the floor, and he won't pick it up. He'll leave it there. So at any point, if you decided to steal from this guy in some way, um, you could actually steal some of his money in addition. Which is my money. <laughs> well, it's not your money anymore. Well, it was my money. <laughs> yeah, but but the point is that um, you know even kind of... you can you can you can steal from a shopkeeper, but you can't really steal anything that he has on him unless you kill him. By doing this, it's one way to get some of his money on the ground, as opposed to on his person. And it's just another cool, cool trick. So that's a case where um, my pet could easily pick that money up and just walk out with it. Could another another nerf that has been made to three point six is pets can no longer pick up stacks of gold. Before they would, oh. but now they pick up a single gold piece off of the stack. Huh. So that doesn't work as easily. But uh, yeah, at some point we'll have to do uh, go in a little bit more detail in an episode about how to steal from shops and things like that. Um, but suffice it to say that I basically always do this. I never, I never pay for anything unless I forget. I never pay for anything um, without dropping the gold on the ground directly um, before I pay for it. Because it's just a better position to be in. At some point, I unwielded Excalibur. All right, so uh, before we wrap up this one, I think it would be a good idea for you to fully explore this level. And by fully explore, I mean you might want to step on every space. Wow. 
That's a, that is a level of exploration I have not yet performed. You don't normally need that level of exploration, uh, exploration, but in this case, I recommend it. Definitely doesn't have anything to do with those uh, telepathic messages. I'm sure. Uh, oh, it does. I, I know. <laughs> Killing everything. Jesus, what's with all these wolves? A lot of freaking wolves, huh? I'm not messing around. Every space is uh that's that's different. Maybe maybe explore the the level without going on every space, and then if you still haven't found anything, then revisit every space but try to be i guess just verbose in your exploration a large box it's not open right what is it loot loot okay i gotta take my key out of my bag I recommend leaving your your key out of your bag. It's pretty light. Yeah. Oops. Apply. Period. Yes. It's it's uh, it's always funny to me when like somebody's kind of new to the game and. It takes them like, I mean, in that case, it didn't take you that long, but sometimes it takes people a really long time to like fumble around with their items, open the box, <laughs> and then like it's got a trap on it, and then and then they they get stunned, and they have to wait out the stun, and then they forget how to loot the container, and then they loot the container, and there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty that's frustrating. The, that's the absolute best. Containers should never be empty. Should always be loot. Oh. Whoops. Hit the nurse. Well, I guess she's bad because it didn't give me any kind of message. Uh. Fuck it. Who needs nurses? I'm the pinnacle of health. you making your own you're doing the level editor now <laughs> uh oh these these have been somewhat dangerous uh okay still nearby oh, you might want to equip your Excalibur yeah boom oh uh, now you're blind Glad that acid blob did not splash on me. All right, we're getting close to having seen most of the level here. Yeah, so I think you probably want to start making sure you go row by row or column by column on these uh in these rooms. Rule them out. All right. That one's done. There is some stuff down here that I haven't... Whoa, what the Whoa. hell? Whoa! That is, is a really long worm all curled up. Whoa, that's a worm? That's the worm head, and the rest is the worm body. I'm guessing I want to go after the head? I don't know. What happens if you attack the body? Got smaller. Ooh, a tooth. Do I want a worm tooth? I don't know. Do you? I mean, it seems it sounds gross. It doesn't sound like something I'd want to <laughs> carry around with me. But I don't know. Maybe you can do some cool stuff with a worm tooth. Well, 
Or does that hack? You most likely can't. <laughs> so it seems like I've hit probably every room at this point. You just want to make sure you've done every square of every room. What was that message? Oh, yeah. What's that stuff I dropped? Oh. Is this what I'm looking for? I don't think so. It's just something written in the dust. Yeah. That's not good enough. That's not the thing, huh? You'll know it when you see it. Like porn? Right. <laughs> the porn of NetHack coming up. No, you haven't you haven't uh, fought any succubus yet. That's the porn of NetHack. <laughs> oh. Is this what I was looking for? I think this is what you were looking for, man. Whoa. The Shrine of Destiny. Something's wrong. In places, the snow and ice have been melted into steaming pools of water. Fumaroles? I don't think I've ever seen that word before. <laughs> Do you know how to pronounce that? The no. word that I know, but I've never heard anyone actually say it. <laughs> say out loud. Fumaroles and pools of bubbling lava surround the hill. The stench of sulfur is carried through the air. You see creatures that should not be able to live in this environment moving towards you. Holy fuck. So this might be a good place to end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So you'll see you'll see if you do overview here. Is it gonna say hell? You're not in hell, um, but you are in I think you're on the next page now. You are on the quest. <gasps> Level wasn't I, one. Wasn't I on a quest already? <laughs> you're you're in uh, a sub quest. I so was on this a is, quest. This is, but I would say now I'm on the quest. quest. The quest is officially like mid game. Okay. Um. So this is probably a good place to wrap it up for now. Pick back up here. <laughs>